find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, my name is Nitsan, I'm a filmmaker and photographer and uh, I've uh, used a lot of these, I use them a lot in my work, these flying stabilizers. And I've reviewed a lot of them, if you've seen my reviews, uh, you'll know that I'm very, very um, particular about what I like and what I don't like. And I'm very picky about these things. So, um, with that in mind, this is one of the best I've seen. Uh, in fact, overall, I think it is the best. Like, it has a few tiny little quirks, but overall, really, really nice. Now, uh, first of all, uh, you'll see my name printed on this, but it's only this specific unit. It's not on all of them. And it was a thanks from the company. I gave them some advice um, regarding this. And so, the, as a thanks, they printed my name on it. So, um, yeah, but, but I'm not like related to them. I've not been paid for this. Like I don't, they've never paid me for anything. Like it's not, um, yeah, I'm not part of that company in any way. Just so, uh, just so you don't get confused. Uh, I'll have, I'll write down like some full information about that below in case you wanna read about that. But that's basically it. Like I have no connection with them other than I bought stuff from them before. So uh, this is a very nice quality stabilizer. Um, it's a uh, stabilizer that turns into a monopod and that's really great. And um, that basically means that you can pull these out. By the way, um, nice quality connections and stuff here. Very, very solid. And I think pretty much any weight um, this will be able to take. I really like that you can um, bring it to this. Uh, it's pretty high. Uh, I don't know the exact height, but um, pretty good. And uh, this allows you to, uh, especially for weddings and live events and stuff like that, it allows you to really quickly like stop, get these long shots. Like let's say you just had to stop and, and get like a, st a stable shot, either for just a few seconds or when there's something really long and you don't want to hold the thing up for ages. So this allows you to be really compact, but, it, but have a monopod with you at the same time, which I think is fantastic. So um, yeah, and it's uh, it's got a nice foot to it. It's like a nice like thick rubber uh, grip at the bottom, which prevents it from having any sort of like sideways uh, shake, which can happen with some uh, lightweight stabilizers, uh, as well as these weights on here, which uh, help a little bit as well. But basically, it's nice and stable as a, as a monopod, um, as opposed to like some like smaller monopods, which which have a little bit of a shake to them, a little bit too much of a shake. Um, so this, this foot here is nice and thick, so that has a little bit of grip against the ground, which is nice. Um, with regards to not spinning. Basically, uh, it flies really well, and uh, one of the things I really love is that once you bring it back from being a monopod, it's perfectly balanced again, and that's great. Like, really well balanced. Um, once you learn to balance it, it does take a little bit of time, but it's not super difficult. I've posted a full uh, like tutorial on every single little aspect of, of balancing, but uh, I'll give you a, f a brief example now uh, regarding balancing it. And um, so I'm going to throw everything off. I'm going to move that out of the way, move that to the wrong position, unlock that, move that, uh, and then move this. So basically everything that could be unbalanced about this is unbalanced. And, um, and that's, not gonna, that's not gonna fly. So, uh, first of all, we want to bring this um, to the correct point here. So, uh, you wanna bring it to a point where it's about balanced left and right, so it's about equal and then bring the weights down further. So, so push this that way a little bit uh, and the weights further away from the uh, center. And then, uh, and then lock it in place, test the drop time. I like quite a slow drop time. A stabilizer is very accurate at the gimbal, allows you to have a slow drop time. And a slow drop time means that you'll get less pendulum uh, motion. So a pendulum is like that sort of motion. So um, like a tilting sort of uh, dangling motion. So the slower the drop time, the less you'll have of that. And the slower the drop time, the more easily you can do tilts, which is great, which is which was very important to me. And um, with the stabilizer this accurate and this high quality within the gimbal and this low friction, you can actually do that, which is great. Um, so right now that I have it there, you can see I've thrown the top off so it's not balanced. And uh, so I'm gonna bring my camera to approximately the correct position. Uh, okay, well that's fine there. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna move this back a little. Um, now this adjustment here for forward back isn't as accurate as on some other ones. It's the same as the laying. In fact, a lot of this is the same as the laying and um, a lot of it is the same as the wieldy, both of which I've reviewed before and both of which I liked, but this is an improvement on both of those. Um, and the uh, left right adjustment is better than both of those. Um, but the, uh, the forward back remains about the same, uh, which is the forward back is not very accurate, but it does the trick. It's, it's fine. Um, it's, uh, when I say less accurate, I mean a little bit of motion here causes a lot of motion here on the camera compared to here where you can twist, you can turn this quite a lot and it only moves it very gently with those turns. So basically allows you to more easily do the left and right adjustment compared to the forward back. But both are fine. As you can see, didn't take me long at all to, to balance this. And um, that's it. Now, now, now that's balanced. Now that's going to... That's going to fly, you know? Um, yeah, so. Uh, and now, uh, regarding how uh, slow of a drop time you have, it will be a little more difficult to keep it... Um, like, if you have a quicker uh, drop time, that's going to... Um, make it stay straight more when it's not moving. Uh, so for example, if there's wind or something, that will help prevent that. Generally have quite a slow drop time. So one, two, uh, two, three seconds-ish. And um, yeah, now um, some issues here, not perfect. Uh, for example, this thing gets a little bit uh, sort of uh, stuck, especially with a heavy camera. There's one point here where it got a little bit stuck for me. There we go, there it is. Um, and it was a little bit annoying to, it sort of got stuck in the middle there. There, as you can see, it gets a bit, not a big issue, just a uh, slight annoyance. Um, bring this back. Uh, what else? This sponge thing here, which is actually supposed to be bigger, I just pushed it all the way up. Um, it's not my favorite, I don't find it's needed. It's for when you use it as a monopod, so you have something to hold on to. But I don't find it's needed, and in fact, uh, for my unit, um, I may just get—I may just remove it. I think, um, but you can just push it all the way up out of the way, and it's pretty much fine. Um, the only thing is, when you want to fly heavy cameras, you want to bring the gimbal further up, and um, and that's when this thing might get in the way a little bit. And um, yeah, it's fine. Um, this is a quite a lightweight stabilizer, and I do really like that. Like for me. Having a stabilizer that's lightweight just allows me to work for longer and allows me to um, just to, take, to get tired less and, and do better shots. Like I can actually do, you know, let's say craning up shots or something down. To switch between cameras on the uh, glide cam, I would have to switch weights around, which is a total hassle. With this, all I have to do to switch camera is switch camera and then move this higher done. So um, this will fly basically any camera. I don't think there's anything this couldn't fly. Uh, I think eventually until you put a camera that will either completely break this or rip your arm off or something. But as far as I know this could take and balance anything without messing about with the weights. Like if you put a camera on that once you got this to the maximum you couldn't, um, it was still not balanced, then you could bring that down and balance, you know, balance it like this. And, uh, and so you can basically fly anything without messing about with weights and switching weights around, which is fantastic. This thing comes off, that's not good. Uh, but um, I haven't glued this on yet because I wanted to show you that this comes off in the review, but it's very easy to put some glue in there and you know, whatever. Uh, it's not a big issue. The only thing is when you're flying a, a big camera especially, Sometimes um, I like to change the position of my hand to get various moves. So sometimes with a low move, I'll want to have my hand positioned like this so that I'm, you know, doing something like that. And then with a heavy camera, that will, this will move on you. And so um, and right now with a lightweight camera, it's fine. Uh, it's slipping a little bit, but it's not such a... Here, let me show you that. Yeah, as you can see, that's moving downwards. So uh, not a big issue, but just use some glue in there or just hold it like this uh, and then it's fine. 
Let's see what else. Uh, the uh, the quick release safety system is fine. The uh, the plate here could be smaller, but that's uh, fine. Not a big issue. It's very easy to fold away, which is nice. Very robust and very strong. And uh, so um, these things are unscrew. You can put these in the bag. This can even go. It's so like it's so tough that you can probably just put it on the outside of the bag, like a like a like a monopod, you know, um, and just strap it to the bag. Uh, and what else? This thing here is uh, could be a little bit improved. You have to like close it quite um, hard to get it to like get a good grip and not move on its own. But that's fine, not a big issue. It's got a lot of improvements over the massive issues that I have with Glidecam. Um, so um, even though I really love the Glidecam and it's like uh, got a lot of great things about it, like it flies really well, it has a lot of issues. So for example, with the Glidecam the bottom will, if you unscrew this too much, the bottom will, f the whole bottom piece will fall out. And uh, the top plate is way too big, and uh, it's got lots of sharp corners, and it doesn't, um, like, it doesn't fold down as easily. And like, th there's so many improvements on here compared to the glide cam. Like, the build quality is so much better, and uh, and the glide cam is already broken in, in one place um, at, at the top here, and so. Um, and even though I'm really careful with it. So with this thing, you can be a lot rougher and like I think it's going to take a lot more uh, abuse than the glide cam. So, um, okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'll have more links below. I'll have some uh, examples posted of uh, footage with this. And um, generally, this is the best one I know of you can get at the moment. It's very low cost um, considering what you get here. It is, you know, lower cost than glide cam and stuff. And, um, so yeah, so if you're gonna go for one, this is the one to go for. And then a quick note about, um, there's gonna be, I think, some uh, different versions of um, gimbals sold with this. I think, I didn't fully understand that, but basically I will post a, a full explanation below once I have it, but basically, as far as I understand, they're all, they're all good. Um, just I think there's two different versions, I think, or something like that. Um, but I'll speak to the, like, the, the seller, the eBay seller, um, and ask him uh, and then post the information below uh, but generally yeah I, I really like this um, by the way this is um, the Giotto's quick release system which I use on here and then it, the the stabilizer itself is only from there down and um, anyways that, that's just there just because uh, makes it easy for me to switch between my various different systems anyways I hope you found this helpful uh, it's something that I really like very nice quality, very nice quality uh, gimbal, very um, low friction, and very, um, yeah, the entire thing is just fantastic, I think. Uh, so, uh, alright guys, thanks for watching, hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos, and uh, I'll see you soon. And I'll have any additional information uh, down below. Alright guys, bye!